We begin this half hour streaming with a breaking news update. Indiana State Police and Prosecutors just announcing they have charged a man for the 2017 murders of two teen girls. The case had been cold until Friday when 50-year-old Richard Allen was arrested. Let's get right to CBS 2's Marissa Perlman live in the newsroom. And Marissa, you're breaking down the charges, although I know they're not giving much information right now. Yeah, that's right. Ryan Audrina, just moments ago, state police did confirm Richard Allen, a 50-year-old man from Delphi, has officially been charged with two counts of murder. But there are still a lot of questions about what happened to those two girls on that day five years ago. State police saying the probable cause affidavit will continue to be sealed and law enforcement isn't sharing any other details on what evidence they do have. Now, 13 year old Abigail Williams and 14 year old Liberty German disappeared in February 2017. Their bodies were found just one day later in a wooded area about a mile from where they were last seen. Indiana State Police booked Allen Friday after searching his home, towed his car and dug through a backyard fire pit. Investigators had previously only released sketches of a suspect and a video of the possible killer found on Libby's phone. Now, over the years, investigators reviewed thousands of leads, but no arrests were made until now. State police saying today is not a day to celebrate, calling this a long and complex investigation, and that today is about the victims, not the man they arrested. Abby and Libby, though in death, have had a profound effect on so many of us on how we live, and as importantly, who we all should be. Again, state police not sharing much in this much anticipated press conference, but after five years, Richard Allen now charged in this double murder. State police will continue to look into whether anyone else could be arrested, connected, connected rather to this case, and asking anyone with tips to come forward. For now, we're live in the newsroom. Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you so much for those latest details.